and fire up the engines, then you can turn on the come to the Gulf with this UAV SAR instrument so that we can try to image the oil spill and the effects on the coastline, the whole uh, Gulf coastline. And we're just coming up on the coast to the northeast. And we're trying to get what's called a baseline. So we come and we image the area before most of the oil is hit, and then we'll come back later and image after the oil is hit. This airplane has a precision path autopilot that was built at Dryden. We interrupt the antenna signal to that part of the autopilot and we send our synthetic one there. And that'll steer the airplane down this line through space that the radar people want to put the radar pod in the right place. This is called the UAV SAR radar. It's an L-band radar. That means that it's got a wavelength radiation that's about 10 inches. This is a, a long enough wavelength so that we can see through clouds. The other thing is that this is a polar metric radar, so it transmits radiation in two polarizations and will receive radiation in two polarizations. And those two polarizations scatter differently from vegetation, from water, so we can use that to try to understand what's going on on the surface, looking at the difference between the different polarizations. We're gonna go to this point. We're going to go out here and then we're going to do this line coming back. That way we'll be looking south instead of north with the radar. DCS released. All right, looks good. Go ahead and release. Released. All right, PPA's engaged. I've got it. It's staying on pretty good. It's staying within about two feet right now on the lateral. And we're still working on the altitude. All right, Tim, looking pretty good in the tube here. 12 satellites. Those pictures. of the entire, almost the entire United States Gulf coastline that we can then look for effects of oil as this oil comes on shore. Okay, here we go, last line. Yeah, let's see, 433 knots, 136 miles to go.